Good evening, Central Texas. Meteorologist Matt Farrell here with a look at your weather for today. We hit 100 as the official high up in Waco started off the day at 78. Very close to the averages, so we'll call it seasonably hot today. Still hot, but again, not dealing with nearly as much humidity as we have been, which made it a little bit of a more comfortable heat across the area. The other problem with those dry conditions, those we do have elevated fire danger as we head through the weekend. Vegetation, very dry. Remember, we looked at the drought monitor yesterday. That is clear. Wind gusts could be as high as 20 miles per hour at times over the next few days. And again, high winds can carry flames, so that's what helps them spread very quickly. And then, of course, our low humidity will also be a contributing factor. Now, with that being said, humidity will actually be on the rise next week, so we'll be talking about heat index values rather than fire danger. And according to the Texas A&M Forest Service, even though the most likely places are going to be west of I-35, most of central Texas is under a high threat for fire danger over the course of the weekend. In fact, very high as you get towards San Saba and Lampasas. That's for tomorrow. For Sunday, it gets even worse. Take a look. A lot of that blue color is taken out of the map, and everybody is under that high risk, again, except for that same bullseye over Lampasas, Killeen, Gatesville, Gulfway, and Lano and Burnett. So keep that in mind. No outdoor burning. It's not a good idea. Not only is it not a good idea, it's prohibited in most counties right now. In fact, all of Central Texas has uh, issued uh, burn bans for their respective counties. So this is uh, an indication that it's getting dry and it's staying warm. And with those breezy conditions, fires can start and spread quickly. So county managers are taking notice in issuing those burn bans. As far as what we expect with that relative humidity, we said it's going to be dry. So let's take a look at what we're expecting for tomorrow. Starting off the day, 80% range, but then by the afternoon, check this out, Temple down under 20% with your relative humidity. That is very dry and again, conducive to fires starting and spreading very quickly. Starting off Sunday again, it's more humid in the morning because it's cooler, but then by the afternoon, again, seeing those values dip down to the 18 to 20 percent range in most spots so dry weather fire danger but again by next week the heat index comes back into play because that humidity will increase wind gusts over the next couple of days too can be as high as 24 to 25 up to 30 miles per hour at times across the area and with that again can spread fires so that's why we talk about the high fire danger low humidity breezy conditions can be a bad combination as far as your seven day forecast goes let's take a look at what we're expecting over the next seven days we'll see 101 tomorrow 102 on sunday and then after that we see the humidity return and take a look at your heat index values could be up around one 107, 108 certain days next week. So keep that in mind as we start next work week.